Hello, this is TIM Bricks, and today I want to share with you the project I've just finished. It is the Lego Castle in the Forest set. Uh, this was a set on Lego Ideas that did not make it, so they uh, later put it in a crowdfunding project on Bricklink, and it sold out super fast, so I was not able to get it. Um, but they offered the instructions in the parts list, so I went through my parts found about 40% uh, of them um, and then I just placed an order for the rest of the parts I did not order the sticker sheet did not order the minifigures because they weren't really forceman looking so I um, got most of the parts I didn't get some candles and some weapons and stuff like that but I had my own so I put my own weapons into here and have my own minifigures so I thought we would take a look uh, there's actually three sections for this. There is this section here, which is what you build first, the main castle. Then this section over here is a little uh, cave. It opens up so you can get in. And then over here is like a tree uh, with a little like part of the castle attached to it. Uh, they actually are very reminiscent of the old uh, Forestman sets. Uh, this one over here reminds me of the uh, Forestman's hideout set. I used to have that. Uh, I do not anymore. Uh, this one over here reminds me of the Camouflage Outpost set, which I always wanted but never got. And then this one here is definitely uh, reminds me of the Forceman's River Fortress. Just the way that it looks, the back, how it opens up. It's got uh, the little jail cell and stuff. So that's uh, what it reminded me of when I was building it. Uh, so these are my own minifigures. I will move those out of the way. Uh, so you first you get this horse here with a built-up saddle. And then uh, you get this uh, raft. There's supposed to be another shield here. Uh, I just put a bow on there instead. And then uh, you got a little barrel here that you can store some stuff. So, pretty cool little build there. And then you got a built up target here for their target practice. Uh, some trees, bushes. Uh, these are my own shields because I did not have the stickers. That's how they did the shields in the set. They used uh, gray shields and then stickers to make them look like the old Forceman sets. Uh, we got some little mushrooms here. There was supposed to be a sticker here that had like a name on it. I did not get that. So as you can see, these open up on here so you can play on the inside. So you got like a little cave right in here. And then there's a ladder to get into the main castle. And if you can see, There is a little drink thing in there. If we turn around this way, you might be able to see it better. So this opens up like this. So you got a little bed in here and then a little barrel used as a little table. It's a little nice little cave to hide in, take a little nap. And you got uh, this bird up here in this tree, and they're just on these little ball joints. Makes it easy to open and close. And then uh, when you go up through here, this actually is a door. So you can push that open, climb up into there. So if someone did raid your castle, you could climb through here and then hide in your little cave down here, and no one would notice. And then if we go to the other side, so the other side, uh, you can see it's an underwater area here, or an uh, under cave here, area here. Got a little treasure chest where they keep all their stolen money. Uh, there's some stairs right here that lead up here into this uh, left area. And then some stairs that go up into the next area. So over in this area, got a little bucket there is 
this little tiny area here. I'm not really sure what it's for. Um, it looks like you could hide something, but the instructions didn't really show you anything. And then up in this area, we got a little table. There's supposed to be a candle on this stand, and then uh, this barrel with some swords in it. And then there's a tile sitting here. That's supposed to have a sticker of a forceman. Uh, like I said, no stickers, so did not put that there. We can turn it. So there's a little owl hiding here in this tree. I like how they have uh, like these orange flower or orange uh, branches, and then you got the uh, the greenery. So it's kind of a mixture. If it had all been green, it'd be a little boring. But with the orange leaves, that's pretty cool. You got uh, this little blue um, roof here. You got some windows. You got one open, one closed. Uh, you got this little vine thing here. I would never have thought that they... Uh, I've never seen the green one before, so this works pretty good. for. They used to have the little uh, rope thing to help climb, but this is even better. So I might have to order more of these and just add them to my other sets. Uh, up here, this piece just comes right off. Nope, it was not supposed to come off that way. Okay, this part comes right off like this. And as you can see, that's what holds the uh, roof down because it's in a slant. So it's not supposed to be able to lift. Uh, that's just how you build it. Uh, but we will turn it this way. So you can look at the back. So as you can see, the ball joints here to hold that. And then over here on this side too. And then you got some uh, dark leaves here. Got a brown little um, vine coming up here. And then you got this to pull out. It's an action feature. So if someone comes in your castle, they can drop down. And then, yeah, like this uh, is reminding me of the old set, how it opens up like that. So you can play on the inside. So if you look on the inside, and see they did a nice little tiled floor, and it is like a, a nougat and a dark orange in there. So we got a little crate here, You're supposed to put some weapons in there. You got a bow and arrow hanging on the wall over here, if I can show you that. I had the the pack here, I don't know, my son must have moved that. But as you, if you can see in the, it's kind of dark, but that's where the stairs are for going into the other one area. I'll move it over here. You can see there's some stairs here. So that's how you get up into the uh, left area. And then And then you can come up these stairs here, which gets you up to the third level. Right, and uh, the third level is more of the dark orange tiling. You got this little table here. It's supposed to have some candles on it. Like I said, I don't have those. There is a ladder here to climb. If you can see that, it's kind of dark in there. But it leads up open that a little bit so you can see leads up to the top and then over here there is a blue door leads you out to the balcony it's a dark blue pretty nice looking all right and then uh, take a look at the top So the top up here is where that ladder goes. So you can just push that down. So then when you come up here, you got your flag, some spears, and then you got this thing here, which if you rotate it, that will lift the draw or lift the gate open. And then 
if you lift this, you can lock it in place. Oh, there you go. So that locks that in place. And then uh, you can get in. And then all you gotta do is uh, you lift that up and it falls right back down. Oop. That piece is not attached super well. That's backwards. There you go. So. All right, and that was a look at the Lego Castle in the Forest set. Very cool set. Uh, I wish that it had been a Lego's Idea set. So more people could have got it. Um, but like I said, if you uh, just order the pieces yourself, it is cheaper than if you uh, buy it. People on eBay are asking a ton of money for it. And it is definitely a fun build, especially if you love Forestman. And uh, it will bring back memories from uh, childhood. So thank you for watching. And remember to like and subscribe.